After the death of Andrew Bryan, the congregation went into the hands of his nephew, Reverend Andrew Cox Marshall. Marshall took over the congregation in 1812. 1822, he changed the name of the church from the First Colored Baptist to the First African Baptist Church. And in 1832, Reverend Marshall went to the congregation and told them that God had given him a vision. That vision was to build a building large and build it of brick. At that time in 1832, on this property, sat a white church named First Baptist. They put the building and the land up for sale for $1,500. Reverend Marshall went to the congregation. Most of them were enslaved. They were saving monies toward buying their freedom or the freedom of their children. But Reverend Marshall asked them not to buy their individual freedom, but to pull together all the monies they had. They came up with $1,000, offered the $1,000 to First Baptist. First Baptist accepted the $1,000, but gave them six months to come up with $500. And they did so, November 1st of 1832, moved into that wooden building, and they worshiped from that structure for 23 years. In 1855, they tore down the wooden building and began building this one. The bricks of this structure they made down at the river, made the bricks out of beach sand, rocks, and clay, that product is called a Savannah Gray Brick. The men gave the women two major jobs to do. First job of the ladies, all the bricks made down at the river, they carried them back up here, tied long aprons around their waist, loaded those aprons with brick, and took a one-fourth half-mile inclined walk. They carried enough bricks. They went around the walls of this building four times with brick second major job the ladies had. You see, their masters gave them permission, you can build your place to worship, but not to do it during the daylight hours. That put the congregation building the building in the night hours. So the ladies had a long job of keeping a bonfire going around the premises of the structure. And they kept that bonfire going until the building was completed in 1859. While making the bricks down at the river, they found a tunnel. The tunnel they found, they finished opening up until they got beneath the flooring. They put